What's up, Brujitas? Trevor and Dave coming to you from this cold, windy, chilly day. Today, I'm just going to do a quick book review. Uh, I went to my local library and I went to get this book because I wanted to, I was looking for some particular information about the Aztec Nation, which I come from. Uh, but when I was there, I said, let's go check out the witchy section, see what they got. And <laughs> this big old library, they had one shelf that was only half full with books. It's pretty sad, but I managed to check out six books, seven books, uh, read most of them. Glenn, I have one more to read, but I'm going to wait on that one. I'll do it in the next book review, and I'll show you those in a minute. But so I wanted to co just cover the ones that I did read and possibly recommend if you guys are into it or not. The first one that we talk about, and it's a must-have, I think. Uh, it just sucks that it's I got it from the library and I can't, I didn't buy it, but I'm going to buy it. Uh, the Wellens Almanac for 2021. This is a great book. And what's cool, it's got the beginning, the first half of the book, has got stories from a lot of different perspectives, little different witches and their stories, a particular story through their journeys. And two of the stories are from two of my favorite witchy YouTubers, Thorn Mooney and Mickey Mueller. I love these these women. They're great. And they have they shared a couple of stories. Pretty cool. And it's got, of course, the, the Sabbaths in it, the calendar, the lunar calendar, cycles, correspondences, days of the week, things like that. It's it's a pretty cool book, you know. So I highly recommend it. You get a chance. The Wellens Almanac. Okay. This book is pretty cool. It's called the Book of Spells Vintage Edition. I don't know, it's kind of a weird name, but what it is, and it's it's neat how they did it, kind of like a like a book of shadows of grimoires, but they're old ancient spells. You know, different religions, different things. And it's it's pretty cool. I like it. I would I would buy this if I find it. I'll probably get it again, but check that one out. <laughs> this book Basic Witches I literally thought I was going through puberty, puberty when I read this I literally thought I was going to start my period after I was done this book it's a cute book but it's made from what I gathered it's made for teenage girls if you have a daughter teenage daughter, preteen daughter that's looking to get in the craft and you approve or whatever, then I probably, I would suggest this book. It's not a bad book. It's just, it feels like it's very high schoolish, made for high school, you know, maybe they're struggling with self-esteem, that type of thing or whatever. So check that out. Basic Witches. Uh, it's by Jaya, Sazina, and Jess Zimmerman. So check that out. This book was really, really interesting. I didn't, I, I'm still kind of trying to read, finish it before I take it back. But this is called High Magic. Talks about Aleister Crowley and his, you know, dealings with hashish uh, and stuff. I mean, it's a, it's very scientific book. It's a, it gets behind the science of pot. Now, I'm not a big pot smoker myself. I do dabble. You know, I prefer hemp oil or a strong CBD oil over flour. But this is a really, really, it's a really good book. Uh, not, there's no, there's no illustrations. It's just all resources and stories and stuff like that. Uh, it's High Magic, A Guide to Cannabis and Ritual and Mysticism by Philip H. Farber. 
I recommend this book. Seriously, if you're in a pot and that stuff or whatever, I suggest this. This one is pretty good, but it's just a the Crystal Companion. I don't know. It's It was there, so I got it. So I love rocks and stuff, and it's really good. Very well done. You know, beautiful pictures, explanations, things like that. It's just, it's a good book to have. Uh, the Crystal Companion by Judy Hall. So check that out if you get it. This book I love. This is the, the very first one that I read out of, this, out of this stack. And I love, I really love this book. And I want to see if I can find it for my collection. But this is called The Ultimate Guide to Witchcraft. A Modern Day Guide to Making Magic by Anju Kierman. Okay. It's made beautifully. Just the pictures, the explanations, just the different things. I mean, it's just, oh, I need that. It's a, it's just a great, it's a great book. It's, I, I look, out of all these, this is my favorite one. Highly recommend it. Uh, so pick it up. Uh, so that's my, that was my library haul, okay? And I got one more from the library that I haven't read. It's the, it's the last one out of the stack that I need to finish this week. Uh, it's called Enchantments, A Modern Witch's Guide to Self-Possession by Maya Spalter. So I don't know if anybody, if you guys read this yet or not. I don't know. So I, I can't comment on it yet, but I will in my next book review. So that's in my stack to read now along. And I'm pretty fucking excited about this. These ones, this is going to be a long read though. Because I'm going to be doing a video on witchcraft in, in, in its influence in music. Not just heavy metal, but all music. And I got this book. I don't know if you've seen the documentary, Lords of Chaos. It was okay. Macaulay Culkin's brother was in it, and it was all right. But I heard this book is really good. It gets way more detail and stuff, but I can't wait to read this. It's a fucking thick book, though, so I don't know. Uh... What else? This one. Now, I particularly right now don't work with any deities. I evoke a few, but I don't really work on any. But Hecate has been on my heart and my mind so much lately that I'm just researching more on her. And I just got this book. I can't wait to read it. Uh... Keeping her keys in her introduction to Hecate's modern witchcraft. Looking forward to read this. Really, just looking forward to that. So that's next on my list. Uh, and of course, I started reading this because this is a really good book and I like it so far. Matt Arnes, Psychic Witch. Recommend this. So yeah. And then uh, what else do I got? That's it. Those are my. That's my stack for the next book review. Um, hope you guys dig it. Just a quick little video for you guys, a little book review that I want to show you what I have on, on file right now. Um, I'm going to be finishing up my spell casting series uh, this week as well. Uh, the final episode is going to be Moon Cycles and Days of the Week. When is the best time to cast any spell and for whatever reason and, and, and stuff like that. So I'll be going over that this week. And then the video after that is been a highly asked topic is sigils. What are they? How do you use them? How do you make them? Things like that. And I'm going to show you the four different ways to make them and the story behind them. Sigils and runes. So that'll be coming up this next week as well. So, thanks you guys for watching. Once again, please subscribe. Do the bell thing, whatever it is that you do. And I'll talk to you guys soon. Remember, do no harm, take no shit. Love you.